everyone, what's up? It's Casey and today I'm going to be talking to you about Operation Christmas Child. It is a program that is very near and dear to my heart and we always make sure that we do it every year. This year we did a girl and a boy, both ages 5 to 9, and I'm going to bring you guys in for a closer look at how I stuff the boxes, what I normally get for the boxes, so on and so forth. So yeah, if you're interested, keep watching. Let's get started. So the first box we're going to be working on is the girl ages 5 to 9. Um, just make sure you have the correct age, the correct gender, and make sure that it is taped to the top of your box. Now, the next thing to start doing is filling your box. And as you can see, my box is pretty filled. So I'm going to take everything out and then show you how I box it. So we have everything laid out here on the table of everything that is going into the box. But first and foremost, I generally put in some wrapping paper um, or tissue paper down on the bottom just to kind of give a more festive feel. Let me just run through some things with you real quick. The first and foremost thing that you need to have in your box are hygiene items. So I always include a bar, uh, a bar of soap, um, toothbrush and toothpaste, a comb or a brush, and then a washcloth, and a washcloth as well. So I always put the washcloth down on the bottom just so it, ha it creates kind of like a cushion effect. And then I'm going to go in with some of our most flat items, um, or the flattest, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to say. Um, which are these two coloring books, some Minnie Mouse and some Sophia the First. And I'm just going to place these down on the bottom very gently and like so. That might be easier if I do it like this. Okay, next I'm going to take um, some stickers. I found these um, dollar store Christmas festive stickers, which I thought were really, really cute. And then also, I always have to send a little bit of Mickey in every box. And then here I have a little, little uh, it's a wooden doll. It has some sparkles here, but also it is a storybook. So I thought that was very cute. Um, that way if you know something happens to the book, they will always have the doll. And then I'm going to go in with these pack and play grab and go packs. These are both Doc McStuffins. Um, one is a Christmas and one is a regular one. And I'm going to catty corner these. So as you can see, there's crowns on, on the bottom of both of them. And I'm going to put the crowns on the separate side. That way it creates a nice flat surface to place down here on the bottom. That way no, um, nothing is, no room is being wasted. Next I found this little glow in the dark Doc McStuffin stethoscope. And I thought that would be really cute because she has a lot of Doc McStuffin stuff in there. So <clears throat> we're putting that in there. Um, now I'm going to go in with the Sophia the First cup because um, I'm going to put the wow item or what or what what Operation Christmas Child calls their wow item is a toy that they can immediately embrace and love and care for. So I am going to put these in here and stuff it inside. And then I'm going to take this ball and stuff it inside as well. And then I'm going to use the side of the box to kind of keep the ball inside. That way their cup is, cup is sitting there. Okay, next I'm going to take this pair of socks and just kind of place it in gently. Uh, we're going to put it underneath there. Place it in gently. The next thing I'm going to place in here is this um, little uh, bag. And inside the bag I have a... Doc McStuffins notebook, uh, a pack of playing cards. Also, I have a um, little necklace that has Sophia the First on it. And as well, I have two whistles inside. That way they can share with a friend or, you know, whatever. So, I'm just putting those inside. Once again, utilizing as much space as humanly possible in this bag. So like I said, I'm just going to place it right there. So I'm going to go in with some of our flatter items, such as the comb, and I'm just going to kind of place that inside there. That way that none of the bristles get broken, but that way it doesn't take up any extra space. And I'm going to take uh, the toothbrush and toothpaste, place that to the side. Um, this Hello Kitty pouch that has some festive erasers and Doc McStuffin erasers and um, as always, make 
make sure you include a pencil sharpener when you have pencils in a box or in a bag or a box or whatever. Make sure you have this because if, if they don't have a pencil sharpener, they can't use the pencils. So just a just a reminder, it's one of the most forgotten items in these boxes, and I always like to remind everyone to make sure to put one in. Okay, so now we have just this little headband. It has Sophia the First on it, some um, headband accessories. We're gonna place those over there. Kind of, actually, you know what? We're gonna put them under. There we go, that's a little bit better. Place those under there. And next, we're going to go in with um, this bar of soap that we have here. Make sure all the air is pushed out of it. And we're gonna place it just like that. This, there we go, just like that. Um, a pack of crayons. I always include in, uh, Crayola because they were always my favorite growing up. And I just feel like they last longer. And next I'm adding a bag of candies such as Smarties. Um, they have to be individually wrapped, just a reminder. And then I have these two little toys. They were like mystery minis. There's a Smurf with a present, which I thought was appropriate for Christmas. And then just a pony from My Little Pony. And that is the girls box. So I'm just going to put the wrapping paper over top. I'm going to grab my lid with the designated um, label, make sure that it snaps, and then also I normally take about two, uh, two rubber bands and wrap it around the center of the bin. So that is how you pack a Operation Christmas Child box for a girl ages 5 to 9, and now we're going to go on to the boy. In this box, we're going to be doing a boy ages five to nine, and we're going to fill this box. Once again, just a reminder, make sure that you have all the hygiene items that are required, such as a comb or brush, um, a bar of soap, toothbrush and toothpaste, and then also a washcloth. These are all very important. Make sure that they make it into every box. So you're gonna place your uh, washcloth down on the bottom and then we're going to go into some of our more flat items. So I'm going to take this Jake and the Neverland Pirates um, coloring book and just place that gently on the bottom. That way it lines it and also it's one of the flattest items in here. Next, I'm going to go in. Lewis had to absolutely positively have some Star Wars to give to this boy. Um, so I'm going to place both of these Star Wars notebooks down on the bottom. Um, just a reminder, if you are going to add anything Star Wars or um, anything movie related, just make sure that it doesn't have guns or, you know, what have you on any of the packaging. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Next, we're going to add in our stickers. I have here a snowman themed sticker set and then also, just like the girl, I am putting in a Mickey set because everybody deserves a little piece of Disney. And next, I'm going to put in some Star Wars socks. I'm gonna line those right there. They sit nice and flat. And then I'm going to go in with my cup, just like the girl, and putting the wow toy item inside. That way it only takes up the amount of room that the cup has. Um, and that way it's not big and bulky and also you can fit more into your boxes. And then I'm going to take this little Santa, car, uh, Santa card set and just place this right into the side. And using the cards, I'm kind of just making sure that the toy stays firmly in there. Um, and once again, just so I can fit more in the box as humanly possible. Next, I'm going to go in with this um, pencil carrier. Um, it has pencils, it has Star Wars pencils, it has erasers, and as always, as a gentle reminder, make sure if you put pencils in a box, make sure you have a pencil sharpener. It's one of the most forgot forgotten items in these boxes, so please make sure you uh, put a pencil sharpener in there. And I'm just going to lay that down here. Next, I got this little bag and I put, um, this game in it's called jump frog and it just has these little tiny frogs in there and um, they just kind of like jump them into the pool so I just decided that I was going to put them in this little pouch that way it's all kept together and then um, whenever they play it or whatever they can put it back or when when they're done playing with it they can put it back in the pouch and not lose any of the items so that's going to go right in there, kind of in the corner. Okay, next, 
I'm putting this ball in. It's from Star Wars. Once again, Lewis wanted to have Star Wars in this box, so we did that. Um, now I'm going to put in the hygiene items, or the rest of the hygiene items, I should say, as the toothbrush, toothpaste, and the comb, and put these into the side. Next, I'm taking our bar of soap and putting it over kind of here, <laughs> if you can see that. And then I'm going to put the crowns right next to it. Next, I'm going to take this puzzle. It actually used to be in a bigger box than this, but I cut it out of, or I cut the picture that they were going to be building out of the uh, box because it would just take up way too much room. So we're going to kind of gently press that in there. And then once again, we have a bag of candy and I'm putting this in here as well. Kind of make sure that all the air is out of all these items that are in bags. Next, I have these two little Smurfs. Um, this one has blueberries and this one is a handyman. And I'm just going to kind of press them into the middle um, because they will fit uh, rather quite nicely. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, just like that. Perfect. So the entire bag is, or entire box is filled to its brim. And then I'm going to just place the wrapping paper over top of it, put our lid on top, just double checking, making sure that it is the box for the boy for ages five to nine, and taking my rubber band and placing it over in the middle, kind of to even everything out. So there you have it. There is the boy's uh, Operation Christmas Child box, ages five to nine, all filled. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed that look at my Operation Christmas Child haul and box stuffing. Um, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more weekly videos. As well, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.